came from Copenhagen, which is here, uh, and you picked me up at Verluse, which is here, and there's a white spot where the airbase is, um, yeah, basically then we just drove to Roskilde. What you have here is, uh, you call basically this part, Northern Sealand, mm. you have uh, something you might know is Elsinore. What's that famous for? That's famous for Hamlet. Oh, right. It happens at Kronborg Castle. Right. Right. Well, basically all of Sealand. You have um, uh, you have here uh, Roskilde town mm. and Roskilde fjord, and next to that one is Isa fjord. They both go out into uh, the ocean out here, and then you have something called Sealand's Oil, uh, from where ferries go to Jutland. Oh, yeah, here we go. That's good. Lige 100 kilo tungere end jeg plejer. Okay. Hold op, kan man se langt hurtigt. Ja, meget hurtigt. Ah, have you seen any other planes? Uh, not in 180 degrees. Forward, right, up and down. Nope. You're good to go. Yeah, Victor Delta. We only visual with one other plane over the festival. Is there two, still two planes there? Yeah, the other one is north of you. I am visual. Roger. Yeah, Victor Delta. Visual with the one behind us. Okay. At about there's five o'clock. There's one north of us, which is over there somewhere. Okay. That one in, on our right is going right to left in front of us. So you're okay. Yeah, two for my. Well. So where's backstage? There's the main stage. Can you turn shop again? Yeah, I can do that. Look at us nerds. <laughs> yeah. Can you just bank a bit more to the right? Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Like that? Are yeah. you okay with that? I'm fine. Oh, can you mean? We just left the uh, Roskilde control zone via Valby at uh, 1,400 feet. And we're going for a jolly around Sealand. Uh, I mean, it's brilliant looking at stuff from uh, from up here. Looking at Roskilde Festival from from up here was incredible. I mean, seeing all the campsites, seeing the festival uh, area, actually getting another impression of the size of it, uh, different from actually being on the ground. It was impressive, and and, and you could basically tell people are uh, enjoying themselves even from up here. And now you know where everything is, so you won't get lost. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and we also saw your house. We saw my house. That was fun. Take a look at the uh, the castle down here. That's uh, Hamlet. That's the Hamlet castle. Yeah. But if you see a building that is underground, like in a, in an old duck. Oh yeah. It, it will. Uh, it, it's a maritime museum. Oh and yeah. It's made by. Uh, it was designed by Bjarke Ingels, yeah. a famous architect. You, you know the BIG. He gets to do all the fun stuff. <laughs> they like actually they do. Uh, they got the, just agreed on having. They get to build the. World Trade Center, two World Trade yeah, Center in yeah. New York. Wow! Sometimes when big ships go under there, it's uh, uh, they are not anymore. I mean, it's been a while since I've heard about it. They actually had a cruise ship that almost wouldn't fit under it. Oh! So it actually had to pick up speed in order to go lower in the water yeah. to, to pass under the bridge. Well, basically, he played his high-flying songs, and people were polite and and like 
dancing a bit, but then when he played Oasis songs, people were cheering loudly, and, and you'd go back to uh, high flying songs, and well, people would just like move around, talk a bit, and then another Oasis song, way. Yeah. But basically, that was uh, Noel Gallagher and the High Flying Birds. A bit disappointing to me. Hit it. <laughs> I want to read the lyrics, I want to understand it, because it's a brilliant show. 